All right, quick video today. Welcome back to the channel. So today I've got the Alpina XB7. This one is in Alpine white, not the most uh, fun color, if you will. But let's talk about quick difference between the Alpina and the X7 M50i. So as you can see, this is not based on the M Sport platform. It's based on the X740i, basically a luxury line. So key distinctive feature up front, floating Alpina logo. If you go over to the side, you'll note the gigantic 23 inch wheels with the Alpina uh, iconic design, 20 inch spokes. So the story behind the 20 spokes is that when back when Alpina was racing BMWs, what they did is they're trying to go after a lightweight wheel. And at the time, there were only four uh, connectors for the wheel. So it wasn't the standard, what you see now, is the five lug nuts there. It's only four lug nuts. And to get the most lightweight wheel with the most stability, you really needed five um, connectors from the center of the wheel out to the rim of the wheel. So what they came up with is a four by five. So that gives you 20 sort of connectors or making the most lightweight and strong wheel. So that's where the 20 spokes come from. You may have all the details right, but it's the gist of it. All right, so the other distinctive feature here, Alpina M Sport brakes with uh, in blue with the Alpina logo. And the other thing is the Alpina logo itself. So Alpina comes from the family business at the time, which was Piano, so they use the same name. And you see the logo in there, it's the camshaft and carburetors. So that's what Alpina started tuning BMWs with, carburetors and the camshaft. And eventually, it became part of well, not part of BMW, but the original BMW tuner, if you will, brought in-house. So they, were, they are literally their own manufacturer of vehicles. Although these things are built alongside other X7s in Spartanburg with Alpina touches. Now, if you want to know more about the specific changes with the Alpina, I suggest checking out Moto Man's video on the XB7. It goes into a lot of detail, especially looking under the hood and under the car for the differences between the X7 and the Alpina XB7. Other distinctive feature, this oval uh, quad exhaust. Looks fantastic. All right, so we'll continue walking around. So again, 23 inch wheels. They are gigantic. I think only one tire manufacturer has these things. Those are Pirelli. Let's take a look on the inside. So the MSRP for this car starts at about $141,000. Yeah, the wheels, leather, Bowers and Wilkins, and a couple other options, and you're looking at roughly $151,000, $152,000 car. Not the most expensive car in BMW's lineup, but pretty damn close. So you have the Alpina door sills. Other details within the car. So you got the Alpina instrument panel in blue and green, distinctive colors for Alpina. You can see the stitching. Also, in green here very nice touch alpina green if you will you got your alpina logo here on the steering wheel other distinctive feature there's no shift pedals here they have a transmission called switch tronic it's basically a button on the back of the steering wheel here that you press the shift in this case up shift over here on the left you downshift using a button on the back of the steering wheel pretty innovative and distinctive feature for alpina other things, we got the BMW Alpina XB7 logo badge thingy here. You got the Alpina glass controls here with the logo embossed in there. There's also another distinctive Alpina touch here on the trim. So it's not even like a sticker or anything like that. It's actually beneath the, uh, I guess we would call it clear coat here with the Alpina logo. Other distinctive features, I think we'll have to go take a look at... Um, the back here. I think I've got the floor mats as well, but interior wise, it's basically the same as an X7. So this one's got the bench here. Let me take a look. Got the floor mats here, not installed yet. So another distinctive feature is this logo on the uh, floor mat. So it's not very nice touch for the Alpina. All right, so let's go take a look under the hood.
All right, so they've done. All right, so they've done some tuning to the N63, eking out 612 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque out of this V8 twin turbo engine. It's fantastic. So obviously this makes it the most powerful X7, not quite the most powerful BMW. That distinction currently belongs to the M5 competition as well as the M8 competition, X5M competition, X6M competition. So you see where I'm going with this. About 617 horsepower for those. That will be usurped by the M5 CS, which we'll be getting two of those in later on this year. So that's what it looks like under the hood here. All right, so that's it for a obviously a very quick and rushed tour of the XB7. Hopefully I'll have another one of these videos with the Alpina Blue. So I got this thing, obviously it comes with air suspension. I got it in its lowest setting, so it looks like a really fast wagon. I really like that look. And that's it. And uh, you have any questions about the XB7? So they are all sold out for model year 21. So hopefully we'll be getting some more allocations for model year 22 if you're interested in one of these beasts, the ultimate cruiser. I forgot one more thing before we go. There's an extra drive mode. All right, so you've got no, no Eco Pro, but you do have Comfort Plus. So what other vehicle gets you that? I don't know. Comfort's not enough. We got Comfort Plus, bro.